Good morning, guys. It has been a struggle trying to get this damn van ready for the show. Uh, Braven, hold this cord up for me real quick. We got the freezer running off of house power right now. Hell yeah. A little bit of armor all on that thing. Almost forgot. Woo Can't be running around without everybody knowing what it is, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. 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 Oh, man. Hell yeah, bro. Now we just need a, one of those all black license plate with the skull and crossbone right there. Bye. Anyhow, good morning guys. It has been a struggle like I was saying, especially with this damn wheel. So I got this thing off yesterday, got it down to a tire shop, had the tire pulled off, and then I made it to my homie Casey's house to get it all welded up, which he did a killer job. Don't, I mean, don't worry about how it looks because, I mean, this was like 11 o'clock at night. Dude needed to go to work the next day and it was just get this thing to hold freaking air. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna come back later and actually clean up all the welds on the outside. The problem is, is he welded it for me, but then I had to go back and grind all the welds on the inside all smooth. In which I did that last night and I just think I did it in too much of a rush, bro. But I, I got it from what I thought was smooth, got to the tire shop. They even put this bead seal stuff on here, this glue, whenever you're gonna have problems with a bead sealing. Uh, it's a little bit of an extra charge, so I didn't even know about this shit. I just learned about it. But they put that stuff on there, put the tire on last night, went to go fill it with air and it was leaking all the way around the whole entire wheel. I was like, are you freaking kidding me, bro? Like that, that literally means the van ain't making the show. So I got up this morning and I went back with the grinder and I, I got this thing smooth, bro. Like it was like factory smooth. And I had to round, re-round the edge of the lip and everything. Anyhow, long story short, took it to the tire shop, got the tire put on, it's holding air now. So we're freaking good to go, man. Like this is a victory. This is a huge victory, man. You guys have no idea. This was hell. But we still have a whole lot of loading up to do. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave the van on the jack for now before putting any pressure on the tire. Give that bead seal a little bit longer to set up and dry. But you know what? I figured it out. You know what I figured out? All you have to do is paint your vehicle rusted finish. And then you don't ever have to worry about cleaning your wheels ever again. Look, look how filthy the wheels are, bro. But it still looks good. You know what I'm saying? So we went and picked up a bunch of stuff for the ice cream truck, merch truck, and we got these little things for actually hanging up chips. So now we're gonna have to work out like some more permanent arrangements, but right now I'm just trying to rig something up because yeah, the show starts in like two hours. But you know, I have this piece of all thread in here and I'm gonna use some of these wire ties and put them on the end and try to get this thing screwed up inside of the van so I can hang those things from this and then maybe zip time at the top so they don't fall off. <sighs> it's gonna be ghetto, bro, but gotta do with what I got right now, you know what I'm saying? Cause we are in a time crunch like a mother <laughs> All right, so got the all thread screwed in up here with the wire ties and then uh, these just hang over the edge and I use some pliers and I bent them closed so that they can't come off. And then down here on the bottom, Got some more wire ties just holding the bottom so that they can't go anywhere. Now I'll probably put a zip tie up here just to stop it from doing that. But yeah, dude, that's gonna work for now. Screw it. say so myself this is for the limbo contest so yeah man this is my first time ever building a stand for the limbo contest but basically i need to i need to run by home depot when we leave and grab a piece of pvc so then we'll have a piece of pvc that just sets in there the idea is it want i i from what i believe it, you want it to just sit on there and if the car touches it, it's gonna knock it off so obviously you lose but yeah anyhow 
moving on. Well, still holding air. That's good. Now, before we get too much further in today's video, I want to talk about today's sponsor, man. Adu has been taking care of us for a long time now. I've been taking care of the DB fam and myself. Keeping us safe on the road, bro. This is a portable air pump from Adu. This is a portable jump starter from Adu. More than just a jump starter, but it's also got the USB plugs and stuff. So you can use this as an extra battery source if your phone is dead or whatever. Dude, I literally carry these things with me everywhere. Every time we go out on a race night and we have to air the slicks down, the portable air pump is coming handy so that we can air the tires back up in order to hit the freeway to get back home. You guys already know the battery problems I keep having with this damn car. Most of the time, Khaki is actually running solely off of this jump starter alone, bro. Like I have this thing plugged in and that is what's getting me to drive around. Today they sent us a product that's more than just safety, bro, but also about convenience, man. Oh! I do has sent us out the big mama jama, bro. This is their portable power station. This will do absolutely everything that you need. And I'm telling you, there's nothing more perfect to have on the damn van with us, man, for any emergency that we could possibly run into. So bam, check this out, dude. I could be charging my GoPro batteries and the batteries for my Canon G7X, both of them at the same time. So when I'm out on the road and I'm recording, boom, my batteries are charging up, bro. And you can obviously also charging my cell phone. What's up? But wait, that's not all, man. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hang on, what is this? What? 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 <laughs> All right, let me turn the wind noise off. Hell yeah, bro, this thing actually has a 120 volt outlet as well. Two of them to be exact. Coming over here on the side, you got the two 120 volt outputs. And it's got a little, it's got its own little on and off switch for that. So you could actually shut it off or turn it on so you're not wasting power. So this thing's got the 120 output. It's got the cigarette lighter output. It's got the charging port where you could charge this thing with house power or with a cigarette lighter inside your car. It's also got the USB outputs and it has the jumper cable. So this thing comes with its own jumper cable as well. It's got the spot to hook up the jumper cable. So it will do the same job as this guy right here. Don't forget about the flashlight. This thing is dope, dude. What can I say? And of course, they're giving the DB fam a discount on it. Link is down in the description. Promotion code's down in the description. Go check it out. Get yourself one. Odd dude's taking care of us once again, bro. Like always. So, yeah. Back to the video. All rub. There's a little bit more weight back there now. <laughs> Get me going up now. Got a little bit of rubbing in the back, boy. Yeah, not a little bit, a lot of it. Mmm, juicy. <laughs> the rubber's falling off. Yeah, we gotta do some last minute clearancing. Eek. Give it back. <laughs> Lift the carp a little bit. Yeah. I need to take this rubber piece off. What's gonna suck is I should have took it off before I painted because it's gonna be white behind it. Damn <laughs> it, yeah, man, bro. Do we have a black? We have a black spray can, huh? Yeah. Can you go 
down more? Is that all the way? down. Ow! Bit. Don't get so far. That thing's actually pretty quick. Is there something on the tire that's tapping? Uh, I hear it tapping, but I don't see anything on the tire. Roll a little bit. Uh, that's the rear. Yeah. I can't tell. Well, I guess we don't do it in reverse. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. All the must-haves whenever you're going on a trip to an event with the newly assembled ice cream truck that the battery may die and the tire may go flat yeah we're all loaded up man of course i'm taking this the jump pack uh battery pack from audu with us just in case we have any kind of power problems that thing is going to take care of it for us and this is that portable air pump from audu definitely got to take that with us just in case we have a flat tire man we have all of our just in cases put that in a glove box but yeah dude as you see we got everything loaded up well there's ice cream in the freezer we put a couple 12 packs of soda in there to start getting cold i have to stop and get ice fill this up with the ice for all the drinks we got to get water still and i got to stop and get a piece of pvc for the damn limbo thing so yeah there's definitely still a lot that I have to run around and do. And the event has already started. So I'm running fashionably late, just like the last one, man. Jesus Christ. Bro, maiden voyage, what's up? <laughs> Very first drive in Sweet Tooth, the Honda Odyssey ice cream truck. Mm -hmm. nice first truck. What up, What's up, Lando? Uh, all random as shit. Tell us, boy, you don't want the smoke. You don't want the smoke. You don't want smoke? <laughs> How do we stop on the freeway? It definitely looked a lot better in person. <laughs> like, as you can see the detail in the paint and shit, you know, like. All you see is just shine. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna lie, like, huh? Who else did your wheel? Uh, a buddy of mine, Casey. That was some work, bro. Like, yeah. we did it, we did it last night. I had to get the tire taken off, take it, have it welded. 
Looks good, man. Looks but it made it here. Fuck, dude. I got a temporary tag on the back. I couldn't get a hold of my insurance company, so I'm watching for police. I'm like, God. I just got to get to Scottsdale and make it back home, damn it. <laughs> you said Scottsdale. That's the good. That's good. Yeah. Or is this Tempe? I don't know. Whichever. It's borderline. Yeah. Borderline, yeah. yeah so either borderline. way. Yeah. Either way, they're both dead. <laughs> Oh, but we made it. Shit. Pumps, man. Guardian belt. Put that on your frame. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. My brother was telling me about these. Yeah, it keeps you safe on the road, right? Yes, sir. That's what's up, man. I appreciate it. What's up, Shiloh? How long have you been waiting? Long I gotta leave. Do you have to leave? <laughs> but. What'd you do to your car, bro? What do you mean what I do to my car? What'd you do to it? What'd you do it? Did you fucking run over some zombies or what? Uh, two people. I don't know. What, what was it called? The riots. You gotta come through downtown, huh? They were rioting, weren't they? You gotta fucking whack them fools to get through. <laughs> I, don't, hey, I don't see a Mustang emblem. Oh, oh look at this dude. Four wheeling. Four wheeling, bro. <laughs> hey, he's got the tires for it. He does. Those are big ass tires. I told him he would like his wheels more if he got smaller tires. Yeah. It just needs smaller yeah. tires. Like what are these? They're uh, ESMs. These are dope, bro. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah. What <laughs> the hell? What do you think it's gonna make? Is the like one to one? Test? Huh? The road look pretty fast? Yeah. But Chill out, bro. That's like 2000. Yeah, but I had I had six Sony explodes in there. Yeah, six twelves. That's how you said it. Yeah. Knocking. Is that the right term? Let's do it. Is that the right term? Yeah, my roof used to go boom, boom. I mean, yeah, guys, this is Abel. He's a local subscriber, right? Yeah. Aren't you local, or are you in Tucson? No, 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 no. You're down here in Phoenix. Yeah. So this is the first time I've met you. You've been following the channel for a long time, but he wants to show me a stereo system. We have a competition going. IFO. Yeah, I'll be there Sunday competing. <sighs> this is gonna be crazy or what? Uh, Dude, what is with the? Oh, it's a Wolfram 2400 one one ohm. I got the fan on it to keep it cool in the summer. Good lord! I got the acrylic back on it so you can see all the cool stuff. Yeah. So yeah, it looks. The whole thing's dead. And you can see it underneath the rear vent. Yeah, it looks pretty crazy, dude. <laughs> uh, you should be good. I heard your Sony explodes. <laughs> Is your voltage and shit? Yeah. You gotta keep an eye on that, huh? <laughs>
So you have to like rev the engine as the base is about to hit? Uh, you don't have to, but... Oh, I see you do it, like, just to... Oh, yeah, because um, the stock it, alternator doesn't like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it, bro? Yeah, that's it. I designed the box, and me and my dad built it. Cut it. I, I ain't gonna lie, I thought you were gonna pop the truck, and there'd be two 15s back here. Nah. <laughs> I go for proper airspace. Yeah. Damn, dude. All that from just 212s? Matching four channel. It's a dope-looking box, dude. I always made my own boxes, also. Yeah, it's double baffled. It's fucking... Yeah. It does all right. I only get about 900 watts right now. Yeah. Well, it's fucking I'll dope, dude. Day Hell day. yeah. Thanks I'll for sharing it with me. Sunday. Yeah, so you're going to be at IFO on Sunday. Yeah. I'm going to be at uh, IFO on Sunday. We're going to be at IFO on Sunday, fucker. Hopefully, the ultimate One way or Sunday. another. It should be in Sunday. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake, orange dream bar, ice cream sandwich, or, hmm, I think I'll just grab me a bag of chips, scrap. Hell yeah. All right, bro, so the van was definitely a success, man. We made it all the way down to the show, all the way back, without a single issue. I do think I need to upgrade the battery, the battery that's running the power inverter, to like a, um, what is it like a lithium battery or whatever i was researching how to run this you're actually supposed to be running a battery like that one that's got like more power whenever the car is off because these batteries are kind of weak just regular car batteries you know i don't know i'm not going to pretend like i'm a scientist and know everything about it i just i've read you're supposed to have a lithium back there those damn things are expensive bro anyhow the freezer does does great whenever the van is running it's whenever you turn it off after it's been off for maybe about 45 minutes or so i don't think it's doing too well the ice cream did start to melt but it did stay cold in there i don't know i gotta get it figured out trial and error dude trial and error we'll get it we'll get it figured out any other guys i got big news for you i know a lot of people were upset because they weren't able to get a hat uh whenever we did that last order of hats we only have 12 and they literally sold out within an hour and a half something like that bro like they were gone so um I doubled the order this time. These are not on the site yet, but put it in the comments down below if you guys want the koozies put up on the site. I, they would probably be like five bucks or something, man. I don't know, but uh, we do have the black with the white logo. And then this was supposed to be khaki, bro. <laughs> but it's like a brown, like a khaki-ish kind of color, I guess, with the black logo on it. But we do have hats. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put half of the hats up right now. I'm going to put 12 up right now so they're on the site right now whenever you guys see this video and then the other 12 i'm not going to put up until friday so come friday at about 5 p.m i'll let you guys know on instagram and stuff i'm gonna drop the other 12 so that you guys so that people have the opportunity to actually get the hat so anyhow guys like i said the van did great literally had zero problems with it and with to be honest with you the event is quite a drive from my house i was expecting something to go wrong but no problems man i most certainly am happy with it and it's a blast to drive it's definitely a lot of fun to drive shout out to adu once again for hooking us up with the power station this most certainly did well keeping all of our cell phones charged all night literally like four or five of us use this thing throughout the day just charging up our cell phones and and just it it's a convenient thing to have man it really is peace out guys and i'll see you tomorrow man